Hey y'all, so I'm just having some leftover ramen from Akira. And just thought I would hop on here and just have a little story time and eat with me moment. Is that all right with y'all? <laughs> um, this is actually, this part isn't part of the ramen. Um, it's, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a pancake dish with like crab meat, shrimp, cabbage, bacon, and some other stuff. I'll have to look it up after and let y'all know. But it was just a little piece left over, so I added it to the top. I mean, it's ramen, right? <laughs> hmm. I'm so tired. But um, I'm a little hungry, so I just hopped out the shower, washed my hair because it needed it. But this ramen brings up a story for y'all about the last time I had ramen with my family and how my ramen bowl went missing so i know y'all like ramen bowl like yes it was the ramen bowl for my leftover ramen that i had not this kind of bowl speaking of i just knew i was going to get the round like big ramen bowl that i had last time for my leftovers and i was excited about it and they gave me this one instead and i'm just like i don't know how many of these we got at the house already i didn't want this kind but i ain't you know i ain't gonna be that person so i just took it I just took it but no so I had maybe a month ago I had went out with for ramen with my dad my stepmom my brother and I was the only one who had leftovers so I packed up my ramen and the bowl was perfect like the moment I saw it I was like oh my god this is so amazing y'all I get impressed over the the slightest things but it was like the ramen bowl and but i had plans for it i was like oh yes because i can i reuse stuff like that i like to help the earth and save the earth and i might be slightly a bit of a hoarder just a little bit but i was like this would be a great salad bowl for when i pack my lunch like i made plans for that bowl so took it home you know ate my leftovers the next day leftovers were immaculate because the season set in and they made it even better and then As I was packing my stuff to leave for work, I went to go pack the ramen bowl. But the ramen bowl isn't where I cleaned it and I put it on the drying rack to dry at. It wasn't there. Like all the other dishes is there, but the bowl itself was not there. Even the lid to the bowl was there. So I'm just like, what happened to it? Like maybe I was like, maybe somebody used it. So I'm asking my dad, like, you seen this ramen bowl? Y'all like fish cakes? Y'all like the little fish cakes that be in the ramen? These ones, yeah. Oh, also, I usually eat my ramen with chopsticks, but it's left over. Ain't no chopsticks in the house. And even if I didn't mind your business, that's my business. And for those who use a full for ramen, that's y'all business, and it's okay. But anyway. <laughs> I asked my dad, you seen this ramen bowl? Like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, okay. I asked my brother, he don't know. I asked my stepmom, she don't know. And none of them acting like they remember what it looks like or nothing like that. So I'm trying to explain to them. I'm like, it's not like a regular bowl, like a regular carryout, like the flat little bowls that you get to go and stuff. I was like, it's not like that. It was a bigger bowl, wider, round. It was like a ramen bowl. But like a to-go one, but nobody knew where it was. So you know, I let it go. I left. I was gone for a couple weeks, and it was still bothering me. Like, <laughs> so I called my dad one day. Like, has anybody seen the bowl yet? <laughs> He's like, girl, you still on that bowl? I'm like, yes. So at this point, I cannot fathom them not remembering what this bowl looked like because they all were there with me at the restaurant when the lady came, gave me the bowl and I packed the rest of my ramen up, you know? So I went into de detective mode, you know? It was an investigation. It was fine missing ramen bowl at this point. So Detective Jordan came out. So I'm literally calling, talking to my dad, addressing him as Mr. and Sir, asking about the whereabouts of this bowl. I said, are you sure you didn't throw it away? Because my dad, he is known to throw some stuff out. Like, 
if he feel like it's not serving a purpose or it's in the way, it go in the trash. So I'm like, he's like, girl, no, I ain't seen the bowl, blah, blah, blah. Like, I was like, all right. I was like, I'll revisit this. But I'm like, you know, you have my contact info. Let me know if you hear anything or see anything. Because I don't want to have to bring your kids down to the station. Referring to his fur kids. Because they had two dogs and a cat. They was going to suspect list too. So then. I call my brother. I think this was a different day. I don't think this is the same day. I call my brother. And I asked him. I said, I don't know if you've heard. If anyone's told you, but I'm on the hunt for this missing bowl. And he's like, you still on this bowl? And I'm like, yep, sure am. So from him, I suspected that possibly he used it for cereal, a bowl of cereal, and left it in his room. Because he tends to do that, have bowls in his room of food or whatever. So, but he claimed up and down, he don't know where it's at. He doesn't even remember what it looked like. So I said, okay. I said, you know what? That's my issue. I didn't come to the uh, the questioning room with the photos. You know, have you seen this man? Have you seen this bowl? So I was like, okay, I'm going to find a picture for y'all to jog y'all memory. So I Google a picture of it. The bowl that I had that was missing was black. The only one I was seeing on the internet was white. So I sent it to them. I sent a group message to my father, my stepmother, and my brother saying, have you seen this bowl except in black? My dad just replies, LOL. My stepmom and my brother, they don't reply. Okay. 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 My last suspect, my stepmother, she was not at the top of my list as a suspect. I'll bet my only theory for her was that she possibly used it to put her vegetables in from her garden. But I had looked into the fridge and I didn't see it. So I was like, I wrote her off. You know, I said, I'll revisit. But my eyes were still narrowed in on my dad and my brother. I was like, those was my top, top suspects. So I let it go for a little bit, the investigation, until I came back home to the house couple day a day or so ago actually two days ago so me and my brother in the kitchen the parents they're out they're away for the weekend and I happen to go in the refrigerator and I'm just looking because I'm being nosy you know I ain't been in a while I just want to see what they had in the fridge so I was like let me see what's in here long behold on the second shelf what do I see my bowl my ramen bowl with what in it you ask vegetables from where you ask the garden my stepmother's garden i looked at my brother i said there's my bow and he's like what and i'm like my bow right where i said it was probably going to be right where i said it was probably going to be used for we he starts laughing he's, i said you know what i didn't want to believe this i didn't want to believe it's her i said you know i gotta call her i got to call her because I had called everyone else on my suspect list but her. But for it to actually be her, I called. So I called her, you know. I started off nice. Hey, how you doing? You may have heard about this investigation that's been going on. She starts laughing. Yeah, I have. I said, well, guess what? I said, guess what? The case has been closed. And she's like, what? I said, you know, you were on my suspect list, but I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe it. And long and behold, when I opened up this refrigerator, what do I see? The bowl with your vegetables in it from your garden. So you are guilty, miss. She starts laughing. She's like, what? That's the bowl? I said, damn, I'm good. I'm so good. I said, I need to be a detective because it was one of my theories. And I was right. I'm good. I just didn't follow my instincts. I didn't start off the investigation properly with, you know, the picture of it. Because if I had came in with the picture sooner, maybe it would have jogged her memory. Like, oh, yeah, I have seen a bowl like that in black. So the bowl was missing for over a month when I finally cracked the case. I know it was a while, but, you know, this is what happens when you don't give up. 
Don't give up, y'all. And trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. Remember, suspect one, my father, threw it away. Suspect two, my brother, in his room because he used it for cereal or whatever else he eat. Suspect three, my stepmother, vegetables from the garden in the fridge. And that's where it was. My other mistake was not thoroughly investigating, searching the refrigerator. You know, I looked on countertops. I looked in cupboards. You know, I looked around tables. I even looked outside where the vegetables are. But I didn't. I just scanned the fridge the first time. But this time, this time, you know, sometimes you have to trace your steps, retrace your steps and go back to the to the scene, go back to the crime scene, which was the kitchen. And it just got moved. So, case closed. If y'all need a detective, a private eye, hit me up. Let me know. More fish cakes. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all like ramen? What kind of ramen y'all eat? The first time I went here, I had the tonkatsu, and that had the, the skinny, they put skinny noodles or the straight noodles. This time I got the Akira ramen, it comes with the curly noodles, and I definitely like this one better. I think it has more flavor. The one that I had last time, the flavor really set in, like with the leftovers when I had it the next day. But this time, this one, this flavor was in it right away, so I like this one. But yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all favorite ramen is. And if y'all enjoyed my story time, if I should do this more often or not. Thanks for eating with me and having story time with me. I'm almost done. So I'll let y'all go. Y'all be good. Have a good night. Until next time. And if you want to continue to eat up the city with me, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time.